15 abortions. It's 15. 15. <laughs> How does that even happen? Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this video from. Welcome to Godly Living with Folu. And of course, I am the Folu. Okay, so without wasting your time, today's video is something that shocked me when I saw it. I mean, no judgment here, but I was so surprised, shocked. And going online and seeing more stories about this topic, it's like, <laughs> like gave me some type of feeling and um, thought that I don't even want to describe right now. So recently, today, the popular media personality conducted an interview with a matchmaker, a popular one, Lara Kudai, you see. And in sharing her story, she shared how she had 15 abortions for a man who was training to become a pastor. Now the thing is, God knows where this man is right now. God knows maybe he's a pastor somewhere right now. And only God knows the state of his life. Maybe now he's doing that to some other girls in the church. And let me add to it that when this was going on, she was also a single mother and also one of the choir members. And yeah, no need to guess at all. They were having sex and maybe unprotected sex. For it to happen like 15 times, then it must be unprotected. Because if it's like one or two times, you can say, okay, maybe it was a mistake. But 15 times. Well, like I said, no judgment here. Yeah, I'm not judging anybody. But looking at the story, watching the interview, especially the clip that I saw, there is one lesson that I learned from it. And that is the fact that it is a terrible thing to be desperate. Desperation is capable of making you blind, making us blind. Now, when we are so desperate to get something, nothing matters anymore. You are going to be walking in darkness like, like doing wrong and unimaginable things, stupid things. And you will be giving yourself the courage, some excuses, and you will just continue to do it, do all these things blindly, and you will even be justifying yourself because desperation has blinded you now later when you're now out of that desperation you will now see that what you did or what you have been doing is stupid is outrageous it's unacceptable is like many adjectives that you can use to describe something that should not even happen at all now i know that it is very easy for us to judge this woman it is very easy for us to tell ourselves that we can never do something like that. It is very easy for us to call our wicked, murderer, evil, foolish, stupid. It is so easy. But she was a victim of something. She was a victim of desperation. Now, if you watch our story, now I can't, I can't share the video here because of, you know, policy and all that. But if you watch our story, you will see that she, according to her, she got pregnant as a teenager. She had experienced like a lot of heartbreaks. Now she met this man and she decided, decided in her heart that this is the man. And because she was desperate, she did a lot of things that on a normal day she, she should not do. Like I can just imagine the man making her have unprotected sex when she should not be having it. Now, I am not saying that she's not guilty too. I am not saying that she was not wrong. But the reason I'm saying this is, she was the desperate one in the relationship. As in, she was so desperate that she would do anything to keep the man. Maybe had it been that she was not desperate, she would have been able to examine the situation better. She would have been able to think and reason better. 
she would have been able to 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 reason that i am a choir member i am a worker in the church that means i am supposed to be a born again christian and this is a pastor in training who is supposed to be a guide who is supposed to be a shepherd like a shepherd in training that i am dating and we are fornicating committing abortions just imagine that type of scenario she would have been able to see that the whole situation was not even right but she could not because she was blinded by her desperation and i also want to think that because of where she was coming from you know like she was already a single mother according to her because she already has a child out of wedlock it was a no-no to have another child out of wedlock and the man was insisting that he was not going to have a pregnant bride so she didn't have a choice but to terminate the pregnancies 15 times now the question is what are you desperate for right now what is that thing that the devil can use to blindfold you to make you do things that will be outrageous things that you will regret later in the future now the question is what are you so desperate to get that you will go to any extent at all to get them some people are so desperate to get a job that they will use their body whatever it is even commit a crime to get or retain a job some people are desperate to get married like this lady she just wanted marriage and she took desperation for marriage to another level so much that she would abort for a pastor in training 15 times whatever it is that you're desperate for the devil can use that to get you it can be a foothold that the devil will use to ruin you thank god that she came out of it of course it's a sad story like that is something that is going to like be a stain on her life forever but some people are not that lucky some people can no longer have a child some people died during the abortion now when you're so desperate for something for, some people are so desperate for a miracle that they will go from one prophet to the other even when the holy spirit is telling them don't go there even when the holy spirit is chastising them they will still go what are you so desperate to get that you will do anything to get it what are you desperate for so before you throw a stone at so before you throw a stone at this woman before you judge her situation before you call her murderer evil callous killer whatever adjective that comes to your mind before you do that ask yourself what are you desperate for what are you so desperate to keep or to have that you will break yourself or even bend your principles to get them those things can be what the devil will use as a snare as a trap or as a pit to get to you thank you so much for watching this video thanks for visiting this channel don't forget to click on the subscribe button down there below the video till i come your way again this is godly living with follow and of course, I am follow. So continue to keep safe and remember that Jesus loves you passionately. Bye.